Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to discuss a new plasma screen set. I did not forget you guys running plasmas. Um, I've gotten so much interest in the physics anonymous screen set from my router guys. Uh, this screen set, I feel, may be a game changer for you. Let's check it out. We're going to go into Mach 3 right here. And of course, you can see the traditional physics anonymous screen set. Uh, we're going to go to view, load screens. Come on down, and you see it's under New Plasma Set. Now, we can see that this screen is not optimal for this resolution, and that's fine. It wasn't really designed for that. But let's take a look at what makes this screen really interesting. First and foremost, we can't forget the torch animation. This looks incredible. Watch this. I mean, it animates the on and off, which I think for you guys is excellent because a lot of guys always question whether the torch is on and off, even though there's an LED. Um, we can see here we have a full screen option. We also can go back from full screen. Uh, we've got tabs on top that many of you are familiar with, but we have an interesting tab here called Angle Finder. If you click on this, the uh, designer of the screen set, we'll cover him in a moment, actually put in an angle set auto calculator for your degrees very very interesting tool so let's say for instance it's asking you right now for a we're going to jog over you'll see the DRO start moving I'm just jogging arbitrarily we'll let it stop we're going to set this as our a location and this is referencing your material naturally right there it says it now we're going to set B location so I'm going to jog the opposite way on the B and we're just going to stop and there we go. We'll set B location. Now it says press calculate to get the degrees button. There's the degree offset for your workpiece. Super cool. And now it says press save degrees and exit. Save degrees. You can see there's your new offset. Exit the main screen. And if you were to load a G code, which we're going to do, you can see your offset is now positioned. You can see the workpiece is completely different than what it would normally load as. And you can see there is your offset there. Super cool integration and something I feel will help many of you. Um, something else that I think is super brilliant is we have a simulate program button. And this is very easy. If you guys want to see the estimated program runtime and how many lines of code, hit simulate. It's going to go through, do everything, and there is your estimated program runtime. Very, very cool. To rewind, we just come right here. Everything here looks good. If we're done with using this angle offset, very simply come over to Angle Finder and just go Reset Default, and you can see there's your offset. Uh, as far as position on your X and Y, we would then go to Exit Main Screen, and then you would just reference this like you would anything else, and then just zero out your arrows and come over machine coordinates, make sure your position is where it should be as far as base location. You also have a parking button, which is awesome. Um, soft limits, again, active. You can see also, and this is something I cannot tell you is such a big help to many guys, is that your offsets are right here. So you got G54, you can select G55, G56. It's all right here, simple to see, as well as setting them up is also right here. So again, very, very cool. You just hit set up whatever you need, hit save, close it. Like I said, this is a really simple but super powerful screen set. We can select our jog on and off. We can select our jog mode, step or continuous, and jog step position. You can see that it's adjusting right here. So again, very, very cool. As far as our diagnostic tab, and you can see this really didn't change much. Settings. As far as uh, everything referencing THC use, you can see here that we do have enable THC and we do have our set steps per and of course our units of measure. And then coming over toolpath, once again, not too different, but I love the fact that he put in program limits. Super cool. This way, again, you guys stay aware of all the basics. Just a very, very clean unit all the way across. MIDI, very simple, nothing crazy. Program run, once again, very easy. And you'll notice that the resolution, once again, is not optimal for this display as far as what it should be displayed at because he didn't design it for that. He kind of wanted to do a window format. So I'm going to show you exactly how to formulate it in the best display. So we're going to go to config. We're going to go to general config. And we're going to come over here to where it says high resolution screen. You want to check that. And you also have auto screen enlarge. I have that checked. We're going to uncheck that. Now we're going to click OK. And as we do that, we're going to now exit out. 
we won't save our fixture and we'll come back in and now you can see the resolution looks so much clearer now you're probably saying well yeah but you got all this black over here well no problem there we'll click this and you can see that my window shrank because I've already set it now you're saying well how do I set my window well, very simple you're gonna move your mouse carefully and you want to get a diagonal line like you see there and you'll click on that and you can set your window size to the actual screen set so very very simple it's just a question of where you want to be you can set it larger but most guys will want to set it in and why I believe he did this because this uh, end user is Greek I'm going to show you his actual channel it's kind of underrated this guy is excellent at what he does his name is Mehmet Ibrahim and I believe he's Greek uh, the channel's based in Greece uh, very low subscriber count but the guy does some amazing things with plasma cutters um, this right here is where he's discussing his uh, degree finder unfortunately it's not in English but if you guys check it out even just visually seeing it done you'll get an idea of what it can do he's very very good at what he's doing unfortunately he hasn't been on his channel but um, once again this screen set I feel is really underrated I've never seen anyone discuss it and super powerful it is in English of course and in order to download it all we got to do and I will put links to his channel because I want you guys to check it out you can see right here screen set and angle finder you download it right here and you're all set now you're probably saying okay you've given me the screen set how do I install it well very simple we're gonna close out you're going to come over here. I've already downloaded it to my uh, desktop. You can select wherever you want to go. Now, once again, I'm using Windows 11. I'm going to double click on the zip file, and you can see it says New Plasma Set, and it says Bitmaps. So, what you're going to do is left click on the Plasma Set, hold down Control, and click on the Bitmaps. And you see they're both selected. Now, whether you're using Windows 10 or 11, whatever operating system you're, you're using with Windows, it will all be the same. You're then going to right click, you're going to click on Copy. You're then going to come over here and we're going to go to Mach 3 and you can see my folder is already up so you're set. If you're not, if I was to click on that, i go right in. But I'm not going to take a shortcut. I'd do it more to what you guys would do. I'm going to click on this PC and you can see Mach 3. You're just going to come to a white area. Right click and there's paste for Windows 11. I'm going to click on it and it's going to say replace the files in the destination. But it's giving me a warning explaining the destination has 11 files with the same names. Don't worry about that. Just go through with it and you're done and you can see there's a new plasma set now we'll close out and you would just simply go into Mach 3 and you can see mine's already loaded naturally but let's say it wasn't we'll enlarge the screen and I will go to load screens and I'll just go back to the pla uh, physics anonymous screen set now the screen will come up and if I wanted to change over like many of you you would be seeing either a Mach 3 base screen or whatever screen set you're using and you would come in here to load screens and then just come down to new plasma set double click on it and you're all set and then once again you can de decide how you want it to view if you want it to view it full screen it's just backwards of what you've seen come to general config go to auto screen enlarge check it click OK exit out go back in and the screen will be expanded so you're set and once again there's Mehmet's name this is a very underrated screen set it's unfortunate no one's brought it to anyone's attention i just found it and i'll tell you i love it i think for many of my guys with plasmas they're going to love it so again check it out and for my guys running both a cnc router or a mill and then switching over to a plasma very simple to do if you want to do that just click on uh, load screens and then we'll scroll down and you can go with the physics anonymous if you're using that or, or the standard base mach 3 screen and then go back over load screens for whenever you're using your plasma it's that simple gentlemen so again I hope that the video has been helpful um, if it has please don't be afraid to give me a like it definitely helps the algorithm the channel is definitely growing and I cannot say thank you enough for the appreciation I hope this helps many of you take care